Hello, everybody. Let's see if this is actually focusing. Kind of looks a little blurry. some water here. Let me just rinse this out real quick. I'm just hopping on to do a quick live stream. I'm not going to spend a ton of time today, but I am going to be here. So let's measure this out here. I'm going to tape. I'm just using mixed media paper. Um, and I'm going to do a few smallish landscapes. Uh, let's see. This is 16, so. Or no, 14, so. Seven is half of that. Bring my mic closer so I can kind of talk into the mic and hopefully drown out the uh, traffic that you can hear. <laughs> um, and then this direction is 11, so five and a half, and five and a half. I'll kind of start these and then we'll maybe work on them a little bit. I'm planning to live stream tomorrow to catch up because I was on vacation. Whoa, focus. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Okay. Um, I was on vacation and was gonna live stream on vacation and uh we did not have internet which was not to our knowledge so i could have gone out of my way to try to get internet but i didn't want to so here i am <laughs> technically behind by however long a week i guess one week behind but you know there's grace we'll be fine doesn't have to be perfect. I don't consider it breaking a streak if I'm still going to do it. So we'll see. Man, the lighting is bad. And I'm sorry, it's like not focusing very well. I'm just going to kind of guess on that. I'll do this direction. And then we'll also do, hmm, do half. It's a little hard to eyeball that, but. Not too shabby. I'll do half here and half here. Again, like half. 
Just to rip this before be a little bit easier. Okay, I'm just making sure the edges are so then what does that make these? These are oops, six and three eighths, six and three eighths and Four and three fourths. Okay, interesting. I guess it would fix fit in a six by four like frame. So I guess that's good. We'll just have a little bleeding room. Um, I'm gonna start with. I bought this new modeling paste from Hobby Lobby, and I painted one large painting with it like two weeks ago, and love it. So. I'm going to be putting a little bit of that down. I don't know how quickly it'll dry, but I just want to get a little bit of texture going on. I almost kind of use it as like a gesso. It's very pasty. It's meant to be mixed with your acrylic, but we're going to try something different. I just want texture. dry faster than I was thinking and under these lights my paint tends to dry quicker so this will be interesting oh my gosh yeah it's like meant to mix with your paint so hopefully this doesn't cause an issue later like it softens when it's with the paint or something we'll see Again, this is an experiment. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna let that soak because I don't want to dry out my brush there. And I'm gonna mix up a few kind of bright colors because that's what I do. In case you've never been here before, I like color. <laughs> So I'm going to squeeze out the handy dandy neon cheapo paint and some primary yellow. And some white. I'll probably just using this variety, maybe I'll put a touch of this cadmium red. Just a little bit so I can have a little bit to grab. Now the question is, is the paint or this medium stuff dry enough? Interesting. It's like dry is kind of like dusty. 
it's very interesting. I think it is like really meant to be um, mixed with acrylic for it to actually work. It's almost like a binder. I don't know. I've never really worked with it before. <laughs> Let's see how this does on top of it. This will be our experimental one. Okay, texture is still there. See that texture? That's awesome. But I still want this background color to really mix or really cover, I mean, the, the canvas. I don't really want gaps. I don't know if it's getting rid of my texture if I scrub it too much. But... Okay, and next one I want to go a little more pink. I'm going to keep them generally in the same color family. keeping a little bit of warmth, not too cool of a pink. Okay, I'm liking that. I don't know what that is, but you know, embrace it. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper maybe with this one. Oh, I'm loving the texture that it's giving me. Maybe more of the pink. On this one. Sure. That'll work. Just getting sort of a base down. I'm interested to see how this paper holds up and if that medium, or what is it called? Modeling paste is actually going to kind of become a protective layer on the paper. But. Okay, there we go. And things dry crazily fast, which is good because I want to keep moving. <laughs> um, I'm going to work with some, I'm going to kind of just paint from my head for these landscapes. I'm not really going to look at references, even though that's really my strong suit is painting from photographs. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to, Stretch and challenge yourself a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Whether you'd like it or not. I'm trying to decide if I want to use this. Is my other, what is this called? This is my heavy gel medium, um, which is clear drying. It's almost like Elmer's glue. Think of Elmer's glue um, that you can mix with paint. And when you mix it with paint, it's going to help your paint not dry. It slows the drying process of acrylics, so it can feel a little bit more like oil. Um, this one does get a little stickier quicker than I'd probably like, but you know what? I'm working quick today. It'll be just dandy. Yeah, it looks like, it very much looks like Elmer's glue to me. Just gonna put a little bit down. Um, and then we're gonna wipe off 
the palette knife. It's good to keep those clean because I've got some that I probably need to research how to actually clean off dried paint because they're like, covered in dried paint. Always wash your materials, guys. <laughs> um, okay. I kind of want this brush back. So I'm going to just kind of go with what my gut is telling me to do. And I want to go for kind of a green. Very dark. Neutral. Green. I need red. If you want your greens to be more neutral, you have to use a complementary color. I mean, I guess have to is a strong word. You can use black, but it just doesn't do quite the same thing. So I like to go in with my complementary, yeah, and get kind of a color like that. I don't want quite so much paint. Because I want to kind of create almost like a A mountainous background and kind of go in with some some blue grays maybe I need some more white sorry guys I'm kind of a stickler with my paint as you can tell I don't like to waste paint so I end up like spending most of my time squeezing out more paint but I guess that's a good problem <laughs> Ooh, look at that gray color there. We want to like put that down and let that kind of mix. Get a little bit closer. We can scratch into it a little bit. If we go a little warmer, maybe. Ooh. In the gray, actually, no. Let's do cooler. In the sky. We can kind of create like some wispy clouds. but then kind of creating different values that can kind of mix with that. The thing about like clouds is that you can kind of make stuff up <laughs> and it'll look believable <laughs> to some extent. neutral trying to keep some of that sorry some of that uh, underpainting showing through a little bit the ground needs to be like darker bit of I 
I think this color needs to be a little bit more. in my light cloud. This is one of those moments where I'm like, ugh, overworking there, overworking. I don't actually know if, like, the horizon is straight because I'm working kind of on the side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, it's not horrible to have a little bit of that red kind of popping in. I'm kind of digging that, kind of digging that. Little darks kind of popping up in here, adds a little interest. I don't know if that's going down to the paper or what, but we're going to add in a little bit of that. There's some little tiny little touches back in. liking it guys. I think I'm liking it. Don't like that though. It's staying pretty wet for me actually, which is kind of nice. Just kind of a little hint of the orange there. The rest blend in. Okay, I'm gonna stop there with that one so I don't like overwork it. And it's quite green. Um, so I think with this one, I want to aim for a little bit more on the blue, gray, purple, gray side. And then maybe I'll leave the other two for tomorrow night when I do the next live stream to catch up for the week. I think I'm going to go for, ooh, that's pretty. Almost want a little deeper. Two blue. A little gray in there. Maybe a little bit of. It's easy to go green. If you're going too green too quick, add some red. Hard to know if the land will be like a certain color compared to the sky. But we're gonna go for this color. <laughs> Might go a little little green, but I don't wanna go crazy. needs to be more neutral because there's like too much too much happening down there More blue, more blue, less green, more 
pink, more red to kind of cut down the blue. Ooh, more white. I want kind of a lighter sky color. To sort of come in here. Okay, now since that's, now that that's there, I can kind of, oh, I liked the pinky color though. This could be a little deeper, I guess. Okay, okay, it's not horrible. Sort of like, right? Yeah. It's like you want that right there to be kind of dark. But then I do like the fact that there was like a purple in here. It's just kind of a pop of color. Sometimes you need those, you know? Um, I don't know if I want to add in. that under stuff has totally given me like a really soft base so I can do this type of thing boo interesting it's kind of cool Get it to happen somewhere else. Too dry. It sort of happened over here. Okay, I, I'm liking it. Little glistens of color. Okay, I think I'm liking it. Warm up the base a little bit here. Okay. Oh, those are awesome. I want to like take off the tape, but I don't think I'm gonna until next time, which is hopefully gonna be tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys. This was a lot of fun Got to be kind of creative and messy um but i hope you'll join me tomorrow uh for the other two so we'll see how this goes bye